Hello. Hello and welcome back to another Fun Fact Friday. Nowadays you can grab a pregnancy test almost anywhere and test in the comfort of your own home. But this used to be something you could only find out by visiting your doctor. So you take the trip, but the very last thing you expect to hear is... Congratulations! The rabbit died! <laughs> That's my best doctor's impression. <laughs> Now you see, if you were pregnant and it was the mid-1900s, this is exactly the type of thing you may have heard the doctor say. Fun Fact Friday, week 125. The rabbit died means you're pregnant. Now before women could pee on a stick to find out if they're pregnant, they had to go to some pretty long lengths by comparison to find out. They would have had to make an appointment, then pay the doctor a visit, and then give them a urine sample, then return home and wait an anxious few days for the results of the test. The term the rabbit died stems from this very test. It was called the rabbit test. The rabbit test, otherwise known as the Friedman test, was an early pregnancy test. In essence, the whole process involved a rabbit being injected with the woman's urine, and a few days later, the rabbit was dissected and its ovaries examined. This euphemism has appeared in the Aerosmith song Sweet Emotion, the TV series MASH, and in the 1962 episode of The Dick Van Dyke Show. In the 1920s, it was discovered that a pregnant woman started producing the hormone human chorionic <laughs> gonadotropin. Human chorionic <laughs> the hum hormone. <laughs> the hormone human chorionic gonadotropin fucker <laughs> in the hormone human chorionic in the 1920s it was discovered that pregnant women started producing the hormone human chorionic gonadotropin or more simply hcg that's easy for you to say <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Right. The rabbit test was used to find out if this hormone was present in the mother's urine and if it was, then that HCG would stimulate a distinct change in the rabbit's ovaries. There was a common misconception that the rabbit only died if there was a positive result. However, this was not the case. In the earlier versions of the test, the rabbit always died. However, later refinements made it possible to inspect a rabbit's ovaries without having to kill it first. I'm not sure if this was an improvement or not. You may be surprised to know that this is exactly how we detect for pregnancies today, just without the bunny butchery. Those wee sticks that oh, we use I see today. What you did there. Yeah, wee sticks, eh? Those wee sticks that we use today to detect the same hormone discovered in the 1920s, HCG, and is what generates those little lines that many eagerly await. There are many euphemisms and other terms for being pregnant, and we thought we'd have some fun by trying to list as many as we could. Here we go. Having a baby. Bun in the oven. Preggers. Harboring a fugitive. Knocked up. Prego. With child. Baking. Pregtacular. Eating for two, although don't do that. <laughs> Expecting. In wombs. Incubating. Expectant. Maternal condition. Ready to pop. In pod. Bumptastic. In the family way. Full. Bacon in the drawer. Pregtastic. Pirate in the brick. In different circumstances. Hormones for two. Fell. Up the pole. PG. Riding the baby train. Carrying. Pregalicious. Up the spout. In pig, in foal, in calf or in pup. Pregaroni. Stung by the serpent. Bound. Hosting a parasite. In a delicate condition. Slipped one by the goalie. Heavy. Bat in the cave. In the pudding club. Tin roof rusted. Stalked. Pee in the pod. Late. Preggish. Watermelon smuggler. Up the duff. Bellied. <laughs> On the nest. And our favourite. Pregsalent. <laughs> if we've missed any, please be sure to let us know in the comments. We are now lucky enough to be able to perform pregnancy tests in the comfort of our own home almost instantly. Next time you need to find out if the rabbit died or if you're pregnant, you'll be able to do it without harming a single animal, without multiple days wait, and then you can call your pregnancy whatever you choose. I'm sure we've given you a few ideas. Thank you for joining us for another Fun Fact Friday. We would love to hear from you, so please like, comment and share to show you care. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>